Hello, so in this video I want to do another episode of I Only Play and in this I want to talk about sports games. Is it worth just playing sports games? Hmm, that's an interesting thought. There's a variety of different sports games out there and there's a variety of different sports that have games, anything from golf to NHL. There's sports games coming out of your years. So really, if you enjoy sports and you enjoy your sports games, there's plenty to pick from. FIFA, for example, has had... A... I have no idea. I've kind of lost count. Mid-90s, I think it started, and it's still going. So you've almost had... You've, you've probably almost had two decades worth of games by now. PES or Pre-Evolution Soccer, that's been going along for a good number of years. Elmi Manager, in just the soccer stroke football arena, there's there's many, many others over many different sports. So you can stick with one sport, you can branch out and do multiple sports. There's so much variety, and that's what I think sports games, playing just sports games, if you're sitting on the fence, for me, I think you can maybe just drop down onto the yes for, for this one. Because there's just about enough variety to keep you going. Anything from, like I said, there's NHL, there's uh, soccer, stroke football, there's golf, there's basketball. And there's even the, the fun daft novelty games as well that kick around uh, when it comes to tennis. And Grand Slam Tennis on the Wii, for example is an interesting game where you're playing as more of a cartoony version of yourself or of um, world-class tennis players. And you use the Wii Remote to, well, play tennis. But it's a bit different, it's a bit more cartoony, it's a bit more child-friendly and it's it just makes playing tennis a bit more fun. It's not quite as regimented and it's quite strict, something like Virtua Tennis. And I think for me, playing with the actual controllers, the Wii Remote, it definitely helps. Um, that I really, really enjoyed. Um, I've played a lot of everybody's golf recently. I don't think I would enjoy a golf game, but I do. That one is fantastic. If you can get it for between £15 and £20, pounds, I say go for it. Um, way, way back, like I said in one of my previous videos, when I heard my Mega Drive, I had a few golf games. A bit primitive, um, they felt like a, a PC port, but still, it was really good fun to play them. There's quite a bit of skill and timing involved. I know it's maybe the golf games maybe are aimed more at the dad market um, in the past, or people who like PC games but can't really play PC games. But it's definitely something you could go back and pick up. PGA Tour 1 and 2, um, Mega Drive, or um, I think maybe they did exist on the PC as well. So definitely worth going to pick up them if you enjoy your golf. Um, there's Madden as well. Um, if you prefer your American football or just football if you're in America. Um, there's NBA. There's NBA games coming at your ears. They seem to be quite um, frequent now as well. So there's a lot out there for the sports fan and for the video game fan and for the two that collide. There's also some other fun uh, novelty ones out there on Nintendo. You've got Mario Tennis as well. I suppose recent, you could classify racing games and just you could lump racing games in with sport because I suppose motorsport is a sport, it's clues in the name. So yeah, if you enjoy your sports games, whatever kind of sport it is, you could lump racing into there and you've got even more choice. My previous um, episode of this, I said I was talking about whether it's worth playing just racing games. Um, for me that was a no, but if you incorporate that into sports games, then the two join quite well together and you've got a lot of variety there. So for this episode, I say playing just sports games, I think it just about gets a thumbs up from me on this one. 
or there's enough out there for you there's enough different varieties through the different sports so if you just stick with them there's plenty of titles or plenty of consoles and what console you play them on because they're by and large multi-platform games is up to you thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button uh, if you enjoy all these then hit subscribe and I will be back with you very soon.